Hello, my friends. We have to do another Sid Hoff because that's my guy. Look, somebody's drawn on this Ferris wheel. It's a heart and a star, but that's okay by me. Chester with, with handmade stars on the top. Not Sid Hoff stars, but that's totally cool. Kids have to get into this. I kind of think it fits, too. We got another horse story. I think we did Thunderhoof before. Um, this is Chester. And he's got his color pencil thing going on, which I love, with cross hatching. I think I've said that. I've called it etching before, but it's, I think it's cross hatching. Let's check this one out. This is um, another wild horse story, but maybe there's a crossover where, you know, Chester and Thunderhoof get together. 1961, okay? Chester wishes somebody loves him, uh, but the other horses are like, you're silly. It's fun to be wild. The horse guy comes out, the cowboys, and they're like, hey, uh, can you capture me? Put a rope on me. And the cowboys are like, yeah, we don't want you. You don't really run much. These guys run. It's rude as heck. I bet you the cowboys from Thunderhoof thought differently. So he goes to talk to a skunk. The skunk's like, nobody wants me either. And Chester's like, I know why. That's why I love Sid Hoff. He cracks me up. He's got these little cute jokes. So he runs to a farm. And he checks with the cow. And the cow's like, you can't give any milk, so what use are you? And the chicken's like, you can't lay any eggs. What's What use are you? And this horse is like, I pull the wagon around here. You can't have that job. So Chester's like, I'm out of here. And then out comes a car. This car has 250 horsepower. Why would he want? Um, why would he want a horse? Uh, a car with one horsepower. Chester's like, I have one horsepower. It's hilarious. Um, so the guy in the car gets to the gas station. Chester's like, um, hey. You have to give that guy 10 gallons of gas, but um, I only need 10 gallons of water. <laughs> There's a sign across the street. It's like, hey, I'm hungry. Okay. It says oats, but actually the guy walks away and it says coats. It's like, um, uh, just this is this, the funniest one of these uh, Sid Hoff books. Chester saw a fruit store, wants some apples. He starts eating them, and the guy's like, Get out of here! You can't, you can't have these without paying. Then he sees like a window, and he's like going in to get the sugar at the tea party. Chester walks by a toy store, and the, the girl at the toy store wants a little rocking horse. And Chester's like, I can rock! Then they see a, 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 um, a statue, and he's like, oh, maybe I can be a statue. So he stands very still. And um, everybody thought he was a statue so much that they just walked by. Even the birds thought that. And then Chester saw, he sees a lady with a hat. And there's a, hat, uh, there's a feather on the hat, and it gets Chester, and he s sneezes. Ah, chow! And everyone's like, statues don't sneeze. And Chester's like, well, horses do. I'm human, all right? Well, I'm a horse. And he walks away. And then there's a, a firehouse he walks by. And he's like, long time ago, horses pulled fire engines. The bells rang because there's a fire. The firefighters come down. Sidhoff just likes to show what's going on in the world. I mean, there's no horse on this page even. And um, that fire engine wouldn't start. And so they're like, what are we going to do? And Chester's like, I can get you there in time. So they wrap a, a rope around Chester and the fire engine. And Chester drives the fire engine over to the fire. And they put it out. And they're like, thanks. The engine's running fine. We don't need you anymore. See you later. <laughs> and Chester gets sh the shaft again. Um, so... He's bummed out. He sees a merry-go-round. And there's horses on the merry-go-round. Chester's like, well, well, they need me. The children ran to the horses. 
And Chester's on the merry-go-round too, pretending he's a uh, part of the merry-go-round. A kid jumps on him, and they're all they're all amazed when Chester gets off, and and he's like, "Yeah, I was a real horse." And the kids are like, "What? No way!" And <laughs> this kid with this kid, he thinks he knows everything. He's like, "Yeah." A real horse runs when you say giddy up. And then other kid's like, all right, let's say it. <laughs> and they say it to Chester and they say giddy up and Chester <laughs> runs off. And he runs so fast he ran back into the Wild West and the cowboys are like, whoa, you're fast. And so they actually catch him. And all the other horses are like, you're right, Chester. And so they take him in at the ranch and that makes good sense, said Chester. Good horse sense. That's just funny as heck. I wonder if they animated this. Sometimes they, some of these book companies had their stories animated in kind of a primitive, primitive fashion. I'd be ashamed if they never animated this one. Chester, man, that's so good. That's such a funny book.